Hey everyone, in this Postman tutorial, we are going to talk about the JavaScript objects. Now, we have seen that we can define different uh, variables. So, for example, I can define a student name. Okay, so I can say student name variable and assign the value to that particular variable. Okay, so I can say John. Okay, and then I can also define another variable named age. Okay, and then assign the value the age of the student then also the course or the class okay variable and the class variable say for example whole a okay so this is basically how we used to define the variable okay sorry so this is change it to code because class is the built-in data type so we have to use something which is which doesn't clashes right so say for example uh, or let's say let's change it to the year okay so i'll change it to okay, year okay so now this particular information is for a particular student right how about if we have multiple now in class there will be multiple students within school there will be thousands of students right so what javascript object helps us to do is basically a collection of inf information for a particular related information for a student or an employee we can basically create an object within javascript and then have that collated information the related information for that particular person employee in that particular object right so what we need to do in order to define object is it's simply because we know that we have the variable type as as const right so the keyword const because we know the it it's not going to change so the student will remain student right uh the values within that particular object might change right so the next thing we have to do is followed by equal to sign and then in the curly braces right so basically this is how you define the object okay so this is student object so now say for example if i print it okay so if i say console.log and then just say student okay uh, print the student object on the console let's see what the outcome is okay so if you see here it's a blank object right so there is nothing let me send again so it is a blank object right nothing is in there now in order to add the value within this particular object we have to basically start adding the values how we are going to add the values within this particular object so the same thing you don't have to basically say for example we used to have these uh, keywords let to define the variable name and the value right here we simply define the name okay followed by there is no equal to sign followed by the colon okay and then the actual value so for example okay and now this is the object so you don't have to separate it with the semicolon basically if there is another value followed by the comma okay so i can say you know age and then colon steen and again comma and then the year okay colon 10 okay now because this is the last value there is no comma that is required after that right so this is basically how we are going to define or define the object we can also do something like this you know in a single line and that's how it will basically okay so now this is the object right now how we can access the values out of it okay so there are two different notations that you can basically use to access the values out of the javascript object first one is the dot notation okay so i can say console.log and then you say student dot right as soon as i'll say student dot student is the object right and from that object i can get these properties that have defined right so student name age etc so i can simply say student name okay so this is take there so i can change it so student name all right so what it will print let's see what exactly it prints on the console if i go to the console you'll see that john has been printed right so this is basically how we are going to define the object so whether we use you know like single quotes here double quotes doesn't matter okay i can use single quotes as well the outcome will be you know similar so this is the first notation to access the values of the object right so object uh, attributes basically so this is one of the name age etc so if i have to access name age or year i'll simply say student dot age student dot year okay now the other notation is so if i just want to so log using the other notation so i can say the bracket notation okay so i can say student right and then in the brackets we provide the property right so for example age okay so within the brackets i provide the age okay so this will print the age so this statement will print the age which is 16 so let me run this and go back to the console 
you will see it is undefined okay let me uh, we have to make it uh, within the code so it could be you know like a single code double code so the, the property right so the double quotes there as well run this in the console this time you'll see that it has printed 16 clear it again send it again right so this is with the dot notation and this is with the bracket notation either ways you can access the properties okay why do we need bracket notation say for example okay here i change it to the student age okay now you will see this is not correct right there is a problem here now why there is a problem if this is the case there is a space or there is any special character or something in the object we have to basically make sure that we surround that with the single quotes or double quotes okay so this is how we are going to surround it right so because there is a space or a special character or anything so we just surround it with a single quote or double quote, okay then the error will be gone now if i try to access the student age property using the dot notation okay what will happen is if you see then if i say student age right with the dot notation this is not going to work okay you will see that there is a space and there is an error so we can't you basically use the dot notation in this sort of scenario okay so that's where the bracket notation is helpful okay so we simply use this whole student age in the bracket notation okay put it in the quotes there and this should work perfectly fine. okay so let me comment this first and show you the error so you'll see that there is missing after the argument list right the error so this is not going to work in this particular case and bracket notation is going to work perfectly so if i send this now to the console you will see that i have got this 16 right so this is basically now this age is no more there right so we can remove there remove that because it's showing undefined and that will be perfectly you'll see this one is from the dot notation this is from the bracket notation wherein there is a space or anything in between between the prop right so this is the purpose of the block and dot notation should be aware of both of these because we'll be using them in the api testing um, at many places now the next thing i want to talk about is nested right so nested objects so nest, nested properties within the object right so say for example we have the student name student age right and year okay now within this particular so a student uh, will have different you know marks as well right so say for example student has marks uh, and marks are for different subjects right so marks will be for different subjects so you just say marks and then followed by our scores okay and here we simply specify the subject so i'll say math followed by colon and say 84 okay comma and then english 90 and then hindi 85 okay followed by there is uh, no comma required this is the last value in here now here in the object because this is this is the first value this is the second value this is the third value right and this is kind of the fourth value so basically there needs to be a comma here as well right and then this is because this is the last value for the student so there is no comma required here this is the closing brace okay for this one and then semicolon now for the nested values in the object how we can access so basically student dot score and dot maths right with the dot notation we can do something like that right so we can basically say console dot log student and then dot scores right so if you say student dot scores right scores is visible there okay and then dot you have these three english hindi and math okay so if i want to get the english marks to be displayed there okay i simply put english there okay send this and it should display 90 on the right so you'll say that it is displaying 90 that's how we are going to access if there is a nested object right so basically the root then the child of it and then followed by dot another okay so that's how you are going to access similar concept you will be using a lot in the json when we are working with json so understanding these sort of concept and these concepts will really be very helpful so don't ignore these go ahead and understand these okay everything will come together once we finish this topic and start working on the real test cases if you jump into the real test cases initially you won't be able to grasp the okay so make sure you go through these details now if i have to access these with the bracket notation right what do i have to do so i'll say console.log okay because i have to just print it right and then i'll say student and then within the bracket i'll say the first root is student right so i'll simply copy and say within the quotes here student and then 
uh, sorry, student is there. So basically the scores, right? So from the object then score the child of it. So we'll say scores. And then what is next within the, the child of the score? We want Hindi marks, right? So we'll say Hindi, right? So again, another square bracket in the quotes, Hindi, right? And semicolon. That's pretty much it. Okay. You can also do something like this. So we can say so dot log. And then if there is no special character or space there, right? So if there is any space, we when we say student scores, right? Then we have to make sure that that this is within the quotes, within the quotes there, okay? Uh, and then we have to change it accordingly here. But if, say, for example, this is just scores, okay? Then we can keep it like this. And in order to access this set differently, we can also say uh, use the dot and bracket mix. So we can say student dot scores, and then we can say maths right we can say maths as well okay we can also do something like this we can say console.logs and then we can say student or uh, let me copy this one student.scores and then we can say dot hindi again right and select hindi so all of these should work okay so let's execute this and see the fusion let me clear the console and you'll say 90 85 85 85 okay so are all of, okay yes so this is 81 so they are different console so we are 90 85 81 85 right so 90 is basically your english code right so first we are printing the english then hindi which is basically 85 then we are printing 81 which is maths right and then again hindi right so we'll see 85 81 85 right now if say for example there was a space something like this okay student scores right so first thing is we have to have the quotes so that error is gone in that object and then here as well if there is a space then we have to make sure that we are using what we are using the bracket notation and not the dot notation right so any thing you can mix and match but make sure that you are using the bracket notation because here if i say student scores that is going to throw an error okay so in this case the only thing we can do is to use the bracket notation for student scores for hindi because it is just a for for these subjects it's just a single word so we can use either dot or bracket right so here if i say student scores and then dot hindi which is basically the dot notation the bracket notation mix then this should be perfectly fine right so if i say english for this one okay and then dot notation for this one so let's see what the outcome is. okay so cannot read properties of undefined reading english okay let's see okay so this is still scores okay so let me comment this out because this is not going to work we have changed it to student scores right so console again try to run it you'll see 90 and 85 okay so the first one is basically with the bracket notation both of them bracket notation second one is bracket not notation and then dot notation and accessing the hindi mark right so this is briefly about the JavaScript object, why we define it, nested object, how you are going to access these values out of the JavaScript object, all of that is particular video. So that's all for this video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.